again no slide lock back i don't know what it is it has to be my grip i don't really like it but it's not really hurting me um but yeah for reloads and everything else i'd like to slide the lock back but we'll see how it goes i'm gonna try and keep my thumb off here just to see if it makes a difference I mean, I thought I tried, it didn't make much of a difference. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back down here at the gun range. As you know, on the last video, we installed this thing here. We're here with the Springfield Hellcat Pro Comp. This is the, let me see, Siley Cat Pro, see there? So we're gonna get this thing zeroed in, put some shots down range, see how I like it, see how fast it picks up. And we'll get right to it. Let's get these mags loaded up and put them down range. We're at about eight yards. Just about eight yards. So let's put some more down range. I'm just including this audio here because this is a buddy of mine that I met down at the range. Well, now I consider him a buddy. His name is Daniel. He's 82 years old. He's been shooting since he was nine. So what's your excuse for not getting out there and training? This man had a whole bag loaded with mags ready to go. He was shooting a Glock 45 with the Hollow Sun SCS on there. Pretty nice setup, I gotta say. Okay, I. <laughs> All right, we got this thing zeroed in. I got the target at about 15 yards. We're gonna, we're gonna do some vertical target switching here, see how fast we pick up this red dot, see how good it does. I, I got high hopes that with this compensator on the end, it'll do pretty nice. So let's put some downrange. All right, that wasn't bad. Let's do a couple more transitions. Huh, seems if you load this thing too much, it's just not gonna go in there. Let's try it with a pull. There you go. All right, let's put some down range and see what happens. This thing does not lock the slide back, ever. I think it has to do with my grip, because the lock slide works just fine, but I think it has to do with my grip. I'm going up too high. Let's try some more. Let's load these mags up and keep it going. So let's do a couple target transitions from the low ready and see how fast we can pick up this dot. Starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Let's keep it going. Ooh. 
What's going on guys? I'm coming to you from the car because I'm on the move today and I just left the gun range. I had a little bit of time here while I'm waiting on something. So um, I still have the gun with me here in the car. So I just wanted to come to you guys and let you know, um, I, I, I took this to the gun range, finally put some shots through it. And by this, we're talking about the Sile Cat Pro. Let me turn this around for you. Sile Cat Pro, as you can see there. Um, took it to the gun range, put about 200 rounds through it. Um, and first impressions are, I loved it. I like it. It's a nice, small, crisp dot. So it helps put shots on pretty precise. I didn't take it out too far. I took it out to about maybe 15, 20 yards. Probably not even up to 20. It took it 15, 17 yards, something like that. But shots were hitting dead on. Nice grouping. Um, very easy to pick up. It's, it's a nice size window. Uh, I'm trying not to bring it up too much because people are driving by and people get kind of stupid when they see a gun out in the open. Um, so I'm trying to keep it down. But um, it was great. Um, I picked up the dot. I tried to do some from compressed ready. See how fast I pick up the dot. I did some low ready. Um, I went from transition. I tried to do uh, the target had four um, bullseyes on it. So I tried to go different targets and it was great i like it um between this red dot and i, I want to put it through more paces i want to put it through something a little more rigorous maybe do some more bam uh charging the slide with it racking the slide because i like doing that all the time i think that's a very useful thing that might happen in real life where you can rack it off something with that red dot so i definitely want to put it through those kind of paces but as of right now it does what it has to do. I mean, I didn't bang it up. I'm not doing no Sage Dynamics type torture testing, but it does what it has to do between the, the compensator on the end of the slide and the nice red dot on there. I think it's, they make a really good combination. Um, this is definitely a, a viable option for everyday carry to put into the rotation. Uh, like I said before, I like to put like 500 rounds through it before I put it into the rotation. But definitely, definitely, we've had, I've had no malfunctions with it. Red dot fits in there nice. It didn't come loose. Um, I like the dot. I didn't play. They didn't got that many settings. It doesn't have different reticles or anything like that. So I didn't have to test any of that. But it was great. I like it. I would recommend it to anybody. It feels super sturdy. It feels good. Um, so yeah, I would recommend it to anybody. It fits fantastic on here. Uh, the other thing I don't like is that when I zeroed it, and it's probably the Springfield's fault here, and I think it has to do with, with the gun, not the red dot. But uh, when I zeroed it, now it's not lined up with my iron sights. So that's just a personal problem. I can get that sorted out. Also, I don't know if anybody else has ever had this problem. Somebody pointed it out. Let me just rack this thing. Somebody pointed it out in one of the YouTube shorts I did. Uh, actually, I'll roll in footage here. But see this spot right here? After a long day at the range, this thing tends to... Uh, sag down like that somebody pointed it out and i didn't really see what they were i mean I, I i i know what they were talking about but i didn't really see it but this time when i finished shooting at the end of the gun range at the end of the range day i definitely saw it, it stood out right to me so that's weird if anybody else has had anything like that please let me know i know it's obviously it's from the heat and everything and when i'm everyday carrying i'm not shooting thousands of rounds but i, I kind of don't like that between that and the slide not locking back, I don't know if it has to do with my grip or not. I'm gonna see if maybe I get a different slide release, but the slide is not locking back when empty. Um, and that's getting kind of annoying. It wasn't a big problem at the beginning, but it is getting a little annoying, especially when you wanna do reloads. Um, so yeah, just wanted to bring that to you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like more content like this, like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys have done with your Cap Pro if you've had it. Uh, I know a lot of people are asking me about this optic. So that's why I wanted to bring this to you guys now. But so far, it's great. I like this thing. I really like it. It's, it's nice size viewing window, which is very important, but not huge footprint overall. So yeah, I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Anybody who's got experience out there with the same dot, let me know. Put in the comments below, not just for me, but for everybody else watching this video. I love you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.